Am I the butthole for not wanting to share my birthday with my dead twin anymore? My 19th birthday is this Friday and I told my mom and dad I don't want to do anything if we are going to have the birthday for my twin too. I was an identical twin and I and my sister were born early and she died a few hours after we were born. Every single birthday since I was little has also been a birthday for her. We go to her grave and put flowers on it and every gift has always had both her and my name on it. Mom gets really sad and always cries for a long time and I have always felt overshadowed on my birthday. The grave visit and flowers and all have always been mandatory and I was never allowed to have friends over or have a party until after we did it. I want to go to dinner with my boyfriend for my birthday at his house and then I'm going to watch movies with my friends. Mom is upset I'm not making the hour-long drive Friday to do the grave ritual and is really sad and my dad is making me feel guilty since I'm their only living daughter and stuff. I told my mom I don't want to share my birthday with a sister I never even knew and I'm done with sharing with a ghost since this has been my entire life. My parents are really upset and now I feel really bad and maybe I should suck it up but I am just so sick of it. Edit okay so I didn't expect as much attention so I'll try to answer some questions I've gotten a lot of. First of all I don't live at home I live on campus which is an hour away from my hometown. Second, I don't care if my parents go, they can do whatever they want, just without me. I've hated going to the cemetery since I was like 13 and realized how weird it was but my parents were very my house my rules about going. I don't like standing over the grave of a dead baby just to pretend to feel sadder than I do. I know it's hard on my parents but I just want to have a birthday without being guilted by them. My mom gets quiet and cries a little whenever my sister is brought up and it's turned up to 100 on my birthday, she died the same day we were born. It sucks seeing her like that. I love my parents but you can love someone and not like their choices too. Also I have about 10 unopened messages. I won't be reading them. Two of the ones I got earlier were really mean and one said I should have died instead so f off. Not reading any more DMs don't waste your time. If you're afraid I won't see your opinion in the comments try getting over it. NTA, maybe I would look at this differently if you and your family had actually known your twin, but they basically died during birth. That is truly awful, but you never had any connection to them so sharing a birthday with them is almost a bit morbid. Like instead of having a fun day with activities you get to choose, you get to have a memorial instead. That's a bummer and I can understand why you wanted to stop. I know it must be hard on your mother, but maybe she should start respecting the feelings of her actual living child. I agree with this so much. I try to be understanding when it comes to grief, I never lost a child, so who am I to judge, but putting the dead baby's name on the living one's present? That's just weird. It sounds like the mom never processed her grief completely and now she's not grieving, she's wallowing. That is not healthy for anyone. Op you are not the butthole and I hope you have a very happy birthday. I also feel like the family could visit the grave any other day of the year. It's not like it has to be on the birth date. They are choosing to make every one of Op's birthdays a sad day for them instead of letting them enjoy it. This was my exact thought. They could celebrate the daughter they have on her birthday and memorialize the one they lost on the following day. Instead, they're choosing to prioritize the lost over the living. It's terribly unfair to Op. The one day, literally, that should be all about her is instead all about a ghost. Giving her gifts with the deceased baby's name on them makes original post a mere proxy. Go reclaim your birthday, op. Find a way that makes you happy because you deserve that. Her parents should be celebrating the fact that original post survived, instead of mourning the one that sadly didn't make it. Indeed. If they continue not bothering about op's feelings, they'd lose the relationship with another child too. I get that grief is hard. But I'm always thankful my parents never treated me differently when they lost my older sis in an accident. You know, I've never thought about it from this point of view. My mom lost my older brother in infancy shortly before I was born, but now that you mention this, I'm glad I've never been treated differently as a result. Up, NTA. That's not healthy for anyone. She's definitely wallowing. I might be able to get having a small present that had always been there on the birthday with the twin's name on it, never getting opened and being recycled from birthday to birthday as a reminder of her. And maybe going to the grave the day before to pay respect, so that the birthday of the living twin isn't overshadowed, then if the mom still wants to go and pay her respect on the birthday after the celebration for the living daughter, she can do so by herself. But everything she's done, 
is just to keep her wound open and have others join her. It's sad and sickening and can cause some other serious mental and emotional issues. Op's mom needs counseling, the dad needs to stop enabling, and original post needs to be allowed to live and not be reminded that she was the one who didn't die. Op needs to be allowed to live and not be reminded that she was the one who didn't die. Exactly. Her whole life's been overshadowed by her deceased sibling. It isn't right. I know a family like that. The first son was born without his skull from the brow to the nape of his neck. She, the mother, knew at 18 weeks and chose, as her right absolutely is, to carry to essentially full term. But now she has three daughters who will never live up to what the dead boy will be to them. NTA your parents need to move on. I'm not saying they shouldn't still be sad on the day but forcing you to share your birthday with a dead sister is unhealthy after 19 years. The most utterly unique thing on earth is one's grief. Your mother lost something unique, her own child. You did not. To force her grief to be shared at this point is selfish. You gave her 19 years, when do you start living and celebrating without including your sister? Miserable birthdays are a part of life. This year, you're going to be minimizing the misery of next year and the year after that. This year is probably going to suck on some level, since you are feeling guilty to the degree that you are posting here. But Fang Dang Dingo is right. What's here is forced. Who needs forced grief? You mom should be mature enough to let you live your own life and not have her own grief validated in some way by your solidarity. You have your own grief. Break free. Exactly what I was thinking, way to make your child feel like she'll never be enough by herself. That's what I was thinking. Op's mom can still do all the things necessary to continue her grieving process but involving the twin turns the birthday into something that isn't celebratory to her at that point. Solid points. I just have to chime in that the username Fang Dang Dingo in the middle of a serious post is really jarring haha. -ha. NTA. 19 years? You've never had your own birthday, always a grave visit. That's messed up. You're supposed to be happy. I'm not sure that's quite true. The grave visit and flowers and all have always been mandatory and I was never allowed to have friends over or have a party until after we did it. That until after we did it implies to me that original post was allowed to have friends and or a party, just had to wait until after her parents had gone through the ritual. I don't think original post should be required to visit the grave with her parents if she doesn't get anything out of it. I think her gifts should be addressed to just her, not the ghost who will never enjoy them, it would likewise be problematic if her sister had survived to only give them shared gifts. But I feel like part of what she's asking for here is her parents not going to the grave, either. Nah. I think original post needs to talk this out more with her parents. Their grief isn't about her, much as they've roped her into it. But if they do celebrate original post on or near her birthday, they should be allowed their grief. This day is traumatic for Op's parents, they can celebrate original post on another day, too. They don't celebrate Op. That's the whole point. They go through the motions of having a birthday, for 19 years, but the day is really about how much original post reminds them of a dead person. No part of the day is free from that shadow. Original Post isn't allowed to have her own plans until she's done her yearly obeisance to the dead child no one knew. And she's a goddamn adult. This isn't like, we have to go to church on Christmas to appease the grandparents, which is how you're treating it. This is, parents grieving over a dead child as the most important activity on the birthday of their living child. Happy birthday. Pile in the car, we're going to the graveyard. And later your mom can cry for six hours. Yeah, yeah, you can see your friends, but only after you politely validate our 19 years of grief. What her parents are doing now is going to come up in therapy later, and they are absolutely buttholes. They can have their grief, but they have a duty to the well-being of their living child that they are not fulfilling. They are placing their grief onto their living child. This is bad. Maybe instead of grieving the child they lost, they should be celebrating the one that survived. It may be the anniversary when their baby died, but it's also the anniversary of when the other survived, despite being born prematurely. Grieving is healthy, especially over a child, but after 19 years, I feel like there's a line. My thoughts exactly. Super messed up. A birthday is a celebration of life, accomplishments, and the future. I'm not a parent, so I can't imagine the grief the parents must feel due to losing a child, 
no matter how long ago. It's truly heartbreaking. With that said, original post is entitled to a birthday to celebrate her life. This has gone on for 19 years too long and the parents need therapy badly. They shouldn't have to live with their grief in this form, nor should it be constantly inflicted on their living child. NTA NTA I had a baby that passed away, my only child, and as part of the grieving process I do celebrate his birthday every year. But I don't think it's fair that you don't get to do what you want to do on your birthday. While I definitely sympathize with your parents, I don't think it's fair to you. I don't see a reason why they couldn't at least do it on a separate day, by themselves, or light a candle or something. What bothers me the most is them putting her name on your birthday presents as well. That's just weird. It's your birthday. It's nice that they still honor your sister but it shouldn't interfere with your day. The name thing bothers me, also. Maybe, I can understand the first year, but after some time you got to accept that the remaining child grew up as a single. I can understand wanting to do the grave visit on the same day, though. However they want to grieve. But they need to accept that while they're still broken over it, the daughter is not. They can make the drive and let the daughter stay behind. Yeah I can understand them wanting to do it the day of, I don't really fault them for that and obviously when original post was younger I guess they had to include her regardless but they are just refusing to see things from her perspective. Every birthday she's ever had has been spent in a cemetery. For most people, they likely haven't spent any birthdays at a cemetery much less all of them, so I really sympathize with op. I chose to have my son cremated because I didn't want to be tethered to a grave. I can set up my own memorial if I choose to. I can take him with me anywhere I go, I just felt that for me personally it was the best decision for my own mental health honestly. I mentioned this in another comment but it's worth repeating, I could never see myself putting my deceased child before my living child. The living child has actual feelings that need to be considered and as much as it hurts to acknowledge, the baby died, it won't matter to her if her sister doesn't come and wouldn't make a difference if the parents celebrated in another way. I'm sure if her spirit, or whatever, is around, She's happy to know she is still loved, but she wouldn't want her parents to still feel this heartbroken and wouldn't want her sister to suffer. I know if I died, I certainly wouldn't want my mother to grieve so hard, for so long. But as a mother putting herself in Op's parents' shoes, it really doesn't get easier. The dead twin won't know if they come a day later. Celebrate the live daughter on her day, celebrate the other twin the day after. I grew up going to the cemetery all the time, my bio mom died when I was two, and it gets weird and sad at some point. I can imagine so. Sorry you had to deal with that. Yes the name thing is odd. If the child had survived then surely the twins would have had their own gifts growing up, so why share them in death? They could buy a separate gift to leave at the grave or donate on the deceased child's behalf, which would be a much healthier way to be inclusive. I agree with this. It's understandable if the parents wants to do the memorial birthday thing. But they can't force original post to be a part of it. Even if it weren't Op's birthday, they wouldn't have been in butthole for not wanting to go to the grave of someone they never knew. And celebrating your birthday in the way you want instead of the way your parents want would also not have been butthole even if the thing your parents wanted to do wasn't having a memorial for your dead sibling. I am a twin and hate sharing my birthday with my brother. I've been telling him for years to push his birthday a month ahead since I was born first. I had 10 minutes to myself at birth and I want more. I can imagine how awful this whole situation is and her parents are the buttholes. How dare your brother. Lol but frankly though yeah. I've always felt bad for twins because your parents only have half as much to spend on you as they would if you were a solo. But I've also always thought it would be kind of cool to have a twin, for different reasons, like pranks and such. All joking aside we are best friends and mortal enemies. Our mom dressed us alike as kids but with blue and red. Every toy was shared but our older sister had her own stuff. I think because of this I've always been the give you the shirt off my back kind of person. My brother had a TBI about 6 years ago and was bleeding from 5 spots in his brain. He hasn't quite been the same but I still love the bastard. I like having a twin. We have had a weird bond since we were small. Neither of us talked much but we were able to communicate very well non-verbally until around 1st grade. I don't mind the issues that come with being a twin but I would absolutely hate it if I was op. NTA your parents have allowed their grief to overshadow your birthday for your whole life, 
and now as an adult you have perfect right to say it is not something you're willing to participate in anymore. I can understand the grave visits, if that had been just a portion of the day, but to give gifts in both of your names, that's ridiculous. You are an individual person who deserves to be celebrated individually. Seriously. After 19 years I understand that the grief of losing a child is still painful, but after that much time it seems reasonable that the mother can at least say, I am in tremendous pain, but my child deserves a life not ruled by my grief. The memory of a deceased loved one isn't diminished if we celebrate a living loved one. Grieving is normal, but ignoring the living in favor of the deceased isn't healthy. Sorry op. More than that, they're making their grief more important than their daughter's life. Original Post deserves to have acknowledgement of her own value not related to that of her deceased infant sister. Right? And excuse the harsh imagery, but how sad it is that Original Post has gone through life second to a corpse. Like, totally grieve the child that was lost. That's a pain that many will hopefully never experience. But don't forget to celebrate the joy of your living child. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.